Holy Spirit cleanses our lives. Romans chapter 8, verses 2, 13, and 26. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you by the Spirit put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. This week, as we consider several aspects of the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, one very important area of work or ministry of the Spirit of God in our lives is that He helps us overcome sin. He helps us crucify the flesh. So as Paul said in verse 2, the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus says, set me free from the law of sin and death. That means the law or the dominating influence, the dominion of the Spirit of God as the Holy Spirit dominates my life, as He rules in me, He sets me free from the dominion of sin and death. The Spirit of God works in us, enabling us to overcome the dominion or the control or the power of sin over our lives. And that's why in verse 13, the Apostle Paul says that, uh, that we by the Spirit put an end the sinful deeds of our body. So even though there is a weakness of our flesh uh, and which, which has been given to doing sinful things, the Holy Spirit, by the empowering He brings, by the strength He brings, by the law of the Spirit, meaning by His rule and His dominion in our lives, we are able to uh, put an end to the sinful deeds of our body. He cleanses us. And he helps us keep the flesh under. He helps us eliminate the sinful deeds of our body. And that's why in verse 26, the Apostle Paul says, The Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. So there may be weaknesses in the flesh, but the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. That word help in the Greek is a very interesting word. It literally means to take a hold of together with us, against something. That means the Holy Spirit takes a hold of together with us against the weaknesses of our flesh. So are there weaknesses that you might be struggling with in your flesh, in your mind, in your emotions, in your behavior, in your, uh, in your uh, uh, habits? You know, when you're, when you're struggling with that, remember you don't struggle alone because the Holy Spirit will take a hold of together with you against those weaknesses. He helps you overcome those weaknesses. And one of the ways is by helping us pray the way we should, so we overcome. So receive that help of the Holy Spirit to overcome the law of sin and death, to put an end to the sinful deeds of your body, to overcome the weakness of your flesh. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, thank you that you help us overcome the weaknesses of our flesh, and put an end to the sinful deeds of our body. And I pray that those listening will be touched right now by your empowerment and they'll be enabled to walk victorious. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.